got another question for the buffer solutions playlist so we're up to number 15 now i hope you like the video and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel why don't you consider doing so as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first okay so we'll make a start so there's the explanation for a mono basic acid so one mole of the acid donates one mole of h plus ions Moving on to the calculation, so I would always recommend starting with the chemical equation for the reaction. So in this case, we've got butanoic acid with potassium hydroxide, and that's going to make the salt uh, potassium butanoate and water. So the first thing we need to do is calculate the moles of the reactants that we've got. So we're starting with the acid, so we've got the concentration and volume of the acid, so we multiply them together. Just make sure your volume's in decimeters cubed. So the initial moles are 0.094. Moving on to the potassium hydroxide, so we've got the mass of that. So the moles is mass over MR, 0.604. So the next thing I need to do is work out the final mole. So that's the moles of everything at the end of the reaction. And you can see straight away that the KOH will go to zero because there's fewer moles of that. That will um, mean that we get the 0.0604 moles of salt made because of that one to one ratio. We get 0.0604 moles of water as well, but I'm not really interested in that. But the other thing we need to do is work out the final moles of acid. So it's going to be 0.094 minus the moles of KOH. So that comes out at 0.0336. And then the next thing we need to do is turn those moles into concentrations. So they're both in 0.25 decimeters cubed. So I just need to divide the moles by the volume. So you can see that's coming out at 0.134 moles per decimeter cubed of acid, 0.242 moles per decimeter cubed of salt. Now they haven't asked this question, but I am going to cover it very quickly just for revision. So often they'll ask, why is a buffer formed? and it's because the acid's in excess, so you've got acid left over at the end of the reaction, and you've also got salt. Next thing I'm doing is bringing in the expression to calculate the H plus concentration of a buffer. I call this the acid over salt expression, just helps me remember which way around the acid and salt go. Now they've asked us to calculate Ka, so we just need to make that the subject of the equation. So we get that for Ka, and now all I need to do is put my numbers in. So when you use non-rounded numbers, so keep everything in your calculator till the very, very end, and you should get Ka coming out at 1.53 times 10 to the minus 5. Before I go into part F, just want to say something very quickly. Now technically we could have put the moles values into the casted over salt expression, um, and that's because the mole ratio is the same as the concentration ratio. And that's because they're both in the same volume. But technically, it's the concentration that should go in. So that's why I did that. So what I've just said links in nicely with F. When a small volume of water is added to this buffer solution, uh, the pH doesn't change. Explain why. And that's because the key components, the acid and the salt, are in the same volume. So the ratio of concentrations stays the same.